What up, dude bros? I'm Frank, this is another series overview. In this episode, I'm covering the Zombie Strike line, going over the whole line as a summary of this, what the series is about, each blaster individual, and then I'm giving you my top picks within the series. Super long video because there are a lot of blasters here, and I don't even have one of every blaster in the series, so I might be using some photos instead of, you know, live models. I have reviewed all the blasters in the Zombie Strike line. Uh, check the date of the video before you say, oh, you Coop, you forgot about this one. If it's not out yet, I can't, like, time jump and then jump back to review it and include it in this video. So this is the Zombie Strike line as of today. So what's the Zombie Strike line all about? Pretty much it's about, well, slaying zombies, or zombies, as Nerf calls them. Zombie, zombie. <laughs> Realistically, how to how to slay a zombie? Would you come at him with an axe or like a blade on attached to your, your blaster? Are you going to shoot foam darts at him anyways? I don't know. Maybe that's the only way to disable a zombie. You can't really say it's wrong because zombies don't yet exist. That we know of. Who knows what's in Area 41? Yeah, just aliens or zombies. Zombie aliens. Oh, man. That's what it's about. It's not really about blaster on blaster practicality. That's generally the Nerf Elite line. If you want to slay other people shooting foam at you, this isn't really war practical, but they're kind of quirky, goofy blasters. Pretty cool. Let's get into each one. First, Hammer Shot. This is a hammer action blaster with a five round cylinder or turret. It's very similar to the strong arm, but it doesn't have a, a top priming thing that requires two hands. You can prime this one with just one hand. Pretty cool. I do have a comparison video on this versus the strong arm. This is a go-to uh, pistol, even if you're not an HVZ player, or if you're just a normal Nerf effective yet also stylish and cool and in the zombie slaying uh, theme. Next, sledge fire. This blaster is a true shotgun. Shotgun being firing multiple projectiles all with one trigger press all at once. This is a break action and um, that action right there is priming back the internal spring. Then you put in a shell which holds three darts like that and you press the trigger and it goes and it shoots out three all at once. No way to fire just one at a time and there's no way to fire it without the shells. So if you lose them or drop them or you don't want to try to fumble with that while you're running and getting shot at, if you haven't done it, it sucks, BT dubs. <laughs> it's difficult when your heart rate starts ramping up, you lose fine motor function. So trying to, you know, stick it in there, well, trying to stick it in when your heart rate's ramped up. Tricky stuff, shotguns um, aren't really for everybody, but the people that like shotguns love shotguns and the sledge fire is kind of one of the go-to shotguns probably because there are only a few, so, you know, it's pretty easy to make the top 10 best Nerf shotguns list because I don't know that there are more than 10, so, you know. I have an extensive review on this blaster and all of the blasters on my table right here, um, but I'm just kind of overviewing them to refresh your memory if I haven't talked about them for a while or you've never seen it. Next, Crossfire Bow. I don't have one of these in the shop because it blows. I reviewed it a while back and it's just a really bad blaster. Spoiler, that's not on the top uh, list or recommendations. <laughs> Bulky, goofy looking, silly, just just bad. <laughs> Next, the Double Strike. Now this is a hammer action blaster similar to the Hammer Shot. I don't have one, otherwise I'd be holding it right now. But it only holds two, so it's much slimmer. If you say, oh, well, the Hammer Shot holds more, why would you ever want something that holds less? Well, it's slimmer. You can shove that in a pocket or a cargo pocket or a holster, and I think it looks cool, just the form factor. It's, a, it's just different than the Hammer Shot. This series is super old, so I don't have each of them in the shop. The next one, I also don't have the Side Strike. Super old, a single shot, very basic uh, pistol. It's also been reskinned with the Elite, but I do believe the, the Zombie Strike one was the first one. Even comes with an included holster, so you can be all tactical and stuff. Pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> pretty large. Uh, you can always just get a jolt or a reskin jolt like this if you just want a single shot pistol without getting too excessively large. Although this one has this unnecessary hand grip. I'll get to this in a second. That's it for the side strike pistol. For the next one, the sling fire. I do have one of these in the shop. This is a lever action blaster primed like that, which is uh, pretty unique. There aren't many that prime like this. Typically you use your off hand to prime a spring blaster because you have to have your, your control hand on firing functions. You're not supposed to move your primary or shooting hand off of the grip. Or if you want to be tactical, Practical. Yeah, that's really uncomfortable. <laughs> but you miss out on the tactical front attachment and the stock attachment, but that's kind of a series theme, which kind of a bummer, it's less uh, tactics, which is uh, never a good thing. We always want more tactics, not less tactics, like duh. But that is the sling fire. Now to the flip fury, this guy. This is pretty much like strong arm Siamese twins, like Siamese twins when two like conjoined together and then they become one. Yeah, like the ultimate power up built in dual wielding Siamese stuff, but it's a Siamese strong arm more or less. Top priming, slam fire enabled. When you finish up with this cylinder, you hit the other thing and it flips like that. Pretty cool. Um, it's too big to holster, and I wouldn't say it has enough, like, quote, firepower to be a primary. So you're kind of in that weird tweener zone. But again, the, the Zombie Strike line or series isn't really built for human-destroying, efficient blasters of nerfy warfare. 
some things sound better in my head. That just sounds ridiculous. <laughs> Super fun blaster for plinking, but it is a little um, logistically difficult to actually nerf with it. Next, the Dominator, this guy, on Siamese. It's like a Siamese, Siamese strong arm, or Siamese flip fury, Siamese, Siamese, I don't, I don't know. This has four cylinders holding six rounds each, pretty high capacity, um, especially considering it doesn't take magazines. So if you just hate magazines and you always wanna be able to load without switching out an entire like device, which is the purpose of a magazine, which is not ideal for every application. There's definitely a time and a place for when you need to be able to shoot always without taking out the mag, since generally when you take out the magazine, you can no longer fire this. You can have a fully loaded cylinder ready to go. You know, you prime it, you point it as a Zambi and you say, hey, if you rush me, I'll pop a cap in you. Like, boom. Meanwhile, you're also loading up this other cylinder. So, you know, you can't do that with uh, magazines. Pump action, as I complained about in my review, the pump action gets a little tight up in here unless you want to stick the handle out the side, which you can since this thing threads around, but I don't store it like that because it it's difficult to store. And the orientation is proper if you shoot like a gangster, like sideways, so. Then the vertical grip is vertical again instead of horizontal. Duminator, pretty fun blaster against spring action. Next, the silent strike, which is kind of a blaster, but it's, it's just a blowgun. It's a piece of pipe with a really cool looking stuff all over it. You just go <laughs> You don't see these at university HVZ events a bunch because a longer blowgun is a more effective blowgun, generally speaking. You can get a meter of PVC for less than a buck, so you don't have to buy this. You can go get normal PVC and then make it yourself. And it's white, it doesn't have cool sling mounts, but you can always just duct tape sling mounts if you want to. This takes a different level of skill because it's not like a blaster where you train at all. It's a you know, the blowing power and the ability to blow effectively and <laughs> just the right pressure and you can't let your teeth affect it. So it's all about the technique. <laughs> I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll leave that, I'll leave that there. The next one is the brain saw. This is like a rough cut plus a chainsaw because it's, you know, pump action just like that. Um, you know, it holds eight shots, but this one. Yeah. Chainsaw. As I mentioned in my review, only the tip is foam, and I don't know how you guys use a chainsaw, but generally when you chainsaw stuff, you, you go at it like the side. You don't stab stuff with a chainsaw. That's just not how you use a chainsaw. And all of that's plastic, so if you go to actually chainsaw somebody, that's plastic that's gonna be smacking them in the face, not the foam. Some kid's gonna use it safely with the foam, then they're gonna go and try to chop down a tree with a chainsaw and just be like, hey tree, whoop, 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 whoop. Why isn't it going down? It's not working. It's as if a chainsaw is not supposed to be used like this. Like, <laughs> chainsaw. Effective Nerf Blaster, probably not, but it's intimidating. A uh, sound box would be helpful, but you can go, no, nobody will know. Intimidation. Next, the cross cut, the brain saw's little brother, more or less. Um, this one has a nice little trigger down here to prime up the, uh, the, the foam disc. This one's in a more logical place, so, so you can smack somebody and hit them with a foam, but you're probably still gonna hit somebody with plastic if you try to go for enough melees. But this is a spring power blaster primed from the back like this, and it has a two-shot smart AR system, so you just go pew, pew. If you buy sidearms to holster, you're gonna have a bad time or you're just gonna ruin your foam thing and then, then you're gonna have a bad time. So it's either not gonna fit or it's gonna fit and it, you're gonna have a bad time. Conclusion, if you buy this one, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> but you can sit here all casually like with your middle finger up and just, hey, this is how you're supposed to use it. What? I, I'm, just, I'm just revving up to slice some zambies. What are you doing? <laughs> Next, lay clamp down, because it looks like a clamp, get it? Huh? This is a reskin jolt effectively. You know, you prime it like that, single shot, but it has a tack rail, which is freaking tactical. Surprising for the, the zombie strike line because they don't have stock attachment points or front nozzles. They go all tactical mode for the zombie strike line, and your clamp is not yet complete for your woodworking project until you put a scope on it, so good thing they have a rail on it. No more comments are necessary. It's, it's a jolt. And the last one is the Outbreaker bow. This one here, this is kind of a really big hammer shot that's more annoying to prime, much bigger, and has these really silly looking bow arms on it. Yeah, that's, that's a good summary of that blaster. I whined about a bunch of this. This whole blaster is just not my style. I don't like it, or any feature within it, um, as I mentioned in my review. Silly priming handle, silly grip, silly bow arms, silly blaster. Although I'm just getting into Walking Dead, yeah, I know, like a decade late, right? And Daryl with his crossbow is turning me onto crossbows, because that dude is awesome. Although this is a little wimpy pistol crossbow, like that little wimpy one used by the, the female in um, Arrow. Forget her name. The goofy one. It, it, it just looks ridiculous. It looks like she's holding a toy every time she pulls that up to kill somebody. She's like effing people up, so I can't make fun of her to her face, but 
She's also a fictional character, so I suppose I can make fun of her. But it, it looks all wimpy. Like, if you get a crossbow, just get a massive crossbow. Just and crossbow somebody. So now you just look like a total dork. You have an inefficient blaster. So if anybody does make fun of you, it's not like you can shoot them, because they'll shoot you back. Especially if they have a strife, flywheel master race, they'll just figure bang and just spray you with foam. So, yeah. Lame sauce blaster. There's also a reskin of a few of the blasters, like the rough cut and the jolt, and a real jolt reskin of the zombie strike one. This is like a different blaster because obviously it has this piece of plastic here, so it's a completely different blaster. Right, Hasbro? <laughs> I swear, half the comments in my YouTube videos are, it's a jolt reskin. Like, I'll, I'll review the silent strike, and somebody's like, it's a jolt reskin. Just every video, it's kind of, it's like a go to comment, other than like first, second, 34th, 18th. It's a jolt reskin. <laughs> then when they try to innovate and make something new, it's just garbage. So we say, hey, stop changing stuff. It's not broken. Don't fix it. And then they just try to update, revise with reskins, which I think is cool, like DLC packs. If you like the original, continue. Otherwise, it's a jolt reskin and it's cooler. The Zombie Strike line is so diverse, it's not really fair to compare one to another, especially like Sledgefire versus Clampdown. It's a shotgun class shotgun compared to a jolt reskin or a tiny little backup pistol. You can't, it, they're just so different. So. Yeah, so now to my top picks in the Zombie Strike line. This is my subjective opinion based on my play style. Unless you say this one's the best, then uh, you're wrong. Yeah, you're just wrong. <laughs> Everybody's entitled to their opinion, but you can have a wrong opinion. Just kidding, but seriously. But, but kidding, but serious. I'm kidding about being serious. Playing mind games with you now. Anyways, top three. Let's start with number three for the dramatic buildup to number one, which everybody already knows because you, the Zombie Strike line only has like a few go-to blasters. <laughs> number three, Dominator. Oh yeah, not really my style, but I respect it. It's nice to be able to fire and load at the same time, which is kind of unique. You know, you can't do that with magazine-fed blasters, like I mentioned, so that's pretty cool. And it's pump action, it's fast, it's pretty effective, although pretty bulky. And I complained about the grip in my review because it's small and the priming grip is small and it's just cramped. Ergonomically not ideal, but still number three in the top picks. Number two. Flip Fury. Would I use it in an Earth War? Probably not, unless it's a pistols only round and they for some reason let this like go in. The pistol only rounds I've used have very strict rules on magazine or internal like held capacity or whatever. If they don't set those rules, you know, loophole and then wreck everybody. So yeah, <laughs> it's, it's fun, it's goofy, it, it works well, I like it. Number one, best zombie strike blaster in my opinion is the Outbreaker bow. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Obviously, the hammer shot, as everybody would expect. This has been a go-to pistol, like not even just in the zombie strike line in all of Nerf Blasters since it came out. It's awesome. Strong arm versus hammer shot, yeah, you can kind of go either way, but if you want a, a larger, like secondary or pistol, this is a go-to because it works well, it shoots hard, it works smooth, and you can use two of them at the same time and dual wield like a boss. Or, uh, you know, use that and focus on all your attention on your blowing. Hammer shot, number one, honorable mention, the silent strike. Honorable mention in honor of Matt's mom. It's not a Coop 772 video without at least one innuendo. <laughs> oh, I think I've already said a few. Okay, then I, I wanted another. Hammer shots number one, as you would guess. If you disagree, leave a comment in the section below supporting your argument with logic, unless unless you think this one's the best, in, in which case you're, you're wrong. Although you're welcome to put that comment and just get wrecked by everybody else. That's it. If you'd like to see a series overview or an overview on a particular class in the future, leave a comment in the section below. That's this episode on the Zombie Strike line. I'll have purchase links to all these blasters and all the names written, because verbally sometimes it's tricky to tell what I'm talking about so you can see everything that I just discussed. That's this video. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, stay tactical.